Hi, and welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Alicia Verwee from Educating, keeping you on the cutting edge of education. We're so glad you came back for another great video. Today's video is gonna be all about Kami. That's a Google Chrome extension, one that I use on a regular basis in my classroom. So I'm hoping that today's video is gonna help you out just as much as this extension helps me all the time. Uh, be sure and like, share and subscribe so that we can keep bringing you these great videos. We're going to jump right in and get started. Kami is an awesome Google Chrome extension that allows you to take any PDF document and turn it right into a resource that your students can actually answer on the screen inside of Google Classroom. Yes, a PDF that now becomes a workable document. You can also grade using Kami, which is going to allow you to do some great response things to your students, just like you would do in a pen and paper situation uh, in a one-on-one -on -one classroom setting or live classroom setting. So we're gonna jump in, hope you like this extension. We're gonna go ahead and start with how to get the extension. You're gonna simply go to a Google browser type in Kami Chrome extension. And when that pops up, you are going to see that the very first one um, is the option to go to the Kami extension. So you click on it, it should take you to the Google Chrome web store. And right here is where you will see it. Now mine says remove from Chrome because I already have the extension. This is where yours will say add to Chrome. And that's what you'll wanna do. Once you have added it to Chrome, make sure that you go up here and you pin it you'll want to see that little circle. Um, if you're not familiar with what I mean by pin it, it's this little blob puzzle piece, depending on who you talk to, um, and where it has the pins, you will want to pin it. So if it's unpinned, it's going to be blanked out uh, or grayed out. If it is pinned, it will turn that little blue color and you will see that the little circle pops up. So make sure that you do that, okay? So now that you have the Chrome extension, let's learn how to use it. So then you will want to go into your Google Classroom. And as you can see, I'm in my demo class. When you go to Google Classroom, you're going to go to Classwork and you're going to go to Create, just like you do for any other Google Classroom assignment that you want to create. So you click that Create and the second option in the drop down menu is going to be Kami Assignment. That's what you want to click. So click on Kami Assignment. It's going to take it just a minute to pop up. Now, another thing you need to know is that both you and your students need to download the Kami extension in order for it to work. I also have found that the free version works pretty well, but do note that you may have a few frustrations with the uh, free version. Sometimes it has a few hiccups. I do find the paid version to be a lot more reliable. It's $100 per year for each teacher. Um, if you contact them as a school, they're very willing to work with you on pricing if the entire school is subscribing. So that may be an option that you as a school or a district may want to look into. Um, but if you as an individual teacher are looking into it, it is about $100 for the year. All right, so that being said, this window pops up once you've chosen that Kami assignment option. Um, what you see at the top is which class I want to assign it to, which students, if you want to pick certain students, say I only want to select my virtual learners if you're in a hybrid situation, or um, I only want certain kids to have this because maybe I'm differentiating my instruction. So of course you can do that just like you do with other Google Classroom assignments. Then you're going to go to this option here where it says publish, and you will want to choose draft. And the reason for that is if you hit publish, it is going to automatically assign this lesson. Um, or it makes it more difficult to edit certain features of it. So I always do my Kami assignments as a draft, and then I can go back and tweak those if I want to change anything. Um, so that's super easy to do. So that being said, choose the draft is my recommendation. Um, play around with it, get familiar with what you like and dislike. I am just going to do this as a generic third grade assignment. Of course, you would be more creative with your title or more descriptive with your title um, in your class setting. Right now, I'm just going to say third grade um, assignment. Okay, this is where you would give your directions. I always tell my students as part of the directions to uh, complete the assignment 
using Cami. And the reason that I do this is it lets them know, and you'll see in a minute, that they have to hit the Open with Cami option. Um, and this lets them know that they have to do that at the onset of opening that assignment, okay? This is where you will assign your point value, or if you want it to not be graded, you can click the X and make it ungraded. This is where you hit your due date or your scheduling times. I would do this after you have created your Cami assignment, but you can do them inside of here. And then this is where you would assign your topic. If you're using topics, if you aren't, I suggest you might look into that. Um, I would, for instance, for this assignment, possibly do this as a daily assignment for them. Make sure that you uh, check this box. If you're doing the paid version, you'll have this. If you're using the free version, I'm not sure that it's coming up for everybody yet. They just started doing this. Uh, it's add links to open with Cami and makes it easier for your students to open the documents. This is a great, great tool right here. And if you are new to Cami and your students are new to Cami, definitely check this box. It sends another document to the student automatically that is created by them on how to use Cami. How awesome it's doing part of our job for us. Um, and it is very detailed instructions, so this will help a great deal with those students that may be virtual learners and you need them to know how to utilize the Cami option. Okay? Now we want to attach the document. In order to make it a Cami assignment, I strongly advise that you go ahead and you put this into your Google Drive. It's very finicky if you're not using Google Classroom. And of course, if you're using Google Classroom, you know that Google Classroom wants you to be uploading from Google Drive. So that's where I've already placed my PDF, which is what you will need to do in advance. So I'm gonna go here, click my Google Drive. It's gonna open just like normal. I am going to go into my third grade folder here, and I'm simply just going to pick one of uh, my brain starters or daily assignments that I want to give them uh, here as a puzzle. So I'm going to click select once I've highlighted it, and it has put that in. Make sure that you are making a copy for each student. You're going to have a mess on your hands if not. <laughs> Um, unless you want them to be working collaboratively all on one assignment, you want each of them to get their own copy. And then you would hit the Assign button. Um, oh, I am so sorry, I forgot to select my class. So let's go back and select my demo class. That's who I want to assign it to, and I want it to go to all students. So let's click Assign. Takes it just a minute to prep everything. and it's gonna ask if you wanna open it in Classroom. So you can go ahead and do that. It's gonna take you straight to that class where it was inserted. So let's go to Classwork. And right here at the top of my screen is that assignment that I just added. And so what you will see here is that it has my directions, complete the assignment with Cami. This is the document. So you can see what the document looks like. And when the student pulls it up, this is exactly how it looks, guys. And so here you will get the option. They can click here and say annotate with Cami. But this is where you really want them to go and make it super simple and say open with Cami. Now, as a teacher, another thing that I love about using Cami is once the child turns in their assignment to me and I am grading it, I can actually use Cami to grade. And so all of these wonderful features that you see here are access accessible to me as grading features. So they can add a text box and type. Um, they can do equations. They can change their font size, their font colors. They can do drawing. So if you want them to make a check mark, um, if you need to erase something and undo, they can insert signatures. So if you're sending home uh, assignments to parents that maybe they need to sign. This is a great way to do that and the parents can sign since I know we have some limitations right now with COVID and parents being able to be inside of our buildings and such. They can upload a picture. There are so many different things that they can do. It offers the text to speech and the dictionary features. So you can see there's a lot, a lot, a lot of options inside of Cami. So I hope that this video was helpful for you today. Um, I do wanna show you actually really quickly this is the document that comes with it that I was talking about where it says, 
how to use Kami. So remote learning with Kami for students. And as you can see, it is literally a step-by-step instruction guide on how to use it so that is amazing this is that feature i was talking about that they are testing out if you're doing the paid version where it will automatically open it directly into cami and it takes that extra step away from the students of having to click open with cami okay so there it is uh, it's a little bit different it'll open directly in the document for them i have the teacher version so that changes things a little bit as I mentioned before, you could do the edit assignment. This is where if you wanted to go in and change anything, you could do that from here. So if I wanted to go in and make this a brain starter or a daily assignment, um, if I want to change my grading, if I want to change which class or assign it to another class or give it a due date, you could do all of that right inside of here because um, we made it a draft. And that is how you use Cami. And that was today's video on Cami. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you like and share it with somebody who can also appreciate today's video and might benefit from it. Be sure and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time we bring you another great video. We appreciate your support here at Educating. Happy teaching, guys.